Good fine evening, it's Mr. Brown here. The other day I recorded a, um, a video of myself out in the field, uh, of me attempting to express um, certain frustrations with the government imposed lockdowns. And I've wanted to, I had wanted to do it for months and I was never quite certain whether I should or how to do it because there was a lot of strong feelings and I didn't want them to come across the wrong way and be misconstrued or, or people to take it personally. And so anyway, I attempted, so I recorded it and uh, sure enough, it came off the wrong way. <laughs> All the stuff came spilling out. Even though I, you know, I talked about the stuff with my wife and other friends of mine, like-minded people. Um, anyway, so I haven't shared that video on Facebook. I've shared it on YouTube, yes. But um, it's just on YouTube, not Facebook. So this one, I'm going to share an email I wrote to our MP and our MSP. So Alistair Carmichael and Mr. Liam MacArthur. Uh, I wrote this uh, weeks back, and of course plenty has changed since, so it might sound a bit dated because things have changed, tear this, that, and the other thing, and I'm, and I'm not following, I'm not listening, I, I, I'm, I'm sick and tired of hearing the government making up all these regulations, and it's just, in my opinion, absolute nonsense. And there's a whole paradigm shift that people are buying into that the government has a right to tell us what we can and can't do. It's nonsense. You know, to, to, it, to restrict our civil liberties is incredible what we are allowing the government to uh, meddle with. Uh, and as I said, it, it, it's a complete shift in our thinking uh, that we're actually accepting uh, what the government says. It's just its just lunacy, in my humble opinion. So, I thought I would share this email. And uh, here it goes. Um, before I start, once again, I'm, I'm sharing this because um, uh, since back in March, end of March, we've all been listening to, you know, the mainstream media, the government's announcements, all the 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 the, the comments and gifts and uh, on social media, all the things manipulating and coercive and and shaming and all the crap, just you know, and, and you know, when you hold an opposing view to what's being pushed in your face, all the the the, the Scottish adverts on YouTube. All the censorship of of posts on Facebook, and as I understand it, Twitter and all this stuff. I'm not on Twitter, but you know, all anything that goes against the 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 um, the narrative seems to get fact checked, which is quite fascinating. Um, so I've had it up to here, trying to share things. I come across a video that, aha. They're speaking my language. They, they, they. I can relate to them. They can relate to me, and I share the post, and it gets fact checked. And it's like I didn't ask you to fact check it. I'm sharing it because I agree with what they're saying. And it's just anyway. My point is really, really frustrated. So I am sharing this finally because I know there's a lot of people out there who agree and believe the same things, but they're afraid to speak up and I get it because this is nothing this is nothing new I've, I've been going through this since um, you know years back when there's issues about uh, so-called same-sex marriage uh, Scottish independence over and over and over again there's a certain half of uh, society that's afraid to speak up and there's another half that just jumps down your throat if you disagree and it this is so this is nothing new and it's a real shame that there seems to be no end to uh, op no end for opportunities when we can be divided you know political beliefs religious beliefs whatever and it's a shame that we have to be at odds with each other anyway so in saying that um 
if if anyone listens to this and disagrees, that's okay. But please um, um, honor my request. I'm not really interested in any rebuttals because, as I said, I've been listening to it since last March. I've had seven, eight, nine months of it. I'm sick and tired of it. So therefore, this video. So please don't bother coming back to me saying, yeah, 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 but, 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 this, that, and the other thing. I've heard it. I'm tired of it. This is my perspective, my opinion, to be an encouragement to those who are like-minded. Okay, so thank you for honoring my request. Uh, if you like it, please let me know. If you don't like it, you can still love me or you can pass pass it on by. That's absolutely fine. Okay, here it is. Hello, Mr. Such and Such and So and So, MP, MSP, whoever you are. Hope you are well. This is a very brief email to express my stance in regards to the government's actions in response to the coronavirus. I am sharing this out of frustration over the past seven months at the time with not hearing relevant opposing views adequately reported on by mainstream media, not given a fair hearing on the major social media platforms, or even debated on in Parliament. Now I list a whole bunch of points, one by one by one. Here we go. I was against the government imposing a lockdown from the very beginning back at the end of the March. I have found the government's attitude in communicating their wishes slash expectations towards citizens to be extremely patronizing. I resent the government dis slash qualifying businesses and services and workers as either essential or non-essential. I am appalled that they managed to force small businesses to close their doors against their will instead of allowing customers to choose whether to shop or not. I feel it was foolish to close all gyms, schools, libraries, and churches, etc., etc., etc. I find it extremely patronizing that they have removed our rights to make our own decisions on how to protect our health as we know best. I have found it extremely offensive the way there has been an attempt to guilt trip asymptomatic, i.e., healthy people into submission by accusing them of being potential grandma killers, grandmother killers, if they do not comply. I find it highly offensive that the government would seek to enforce the covering of faces and the obedience to their rules by a threat of a fine. I find it despicable that the police have encouraged neighbors to spy and report on each other. I find it extremely repugnant that the government have restricted gatherings at weddings, funerals, churches, hospital deathbeds, etc., etc., etc. Now, again, things may have changed since then, but this is uh, a few weeks old. I find it highly inappropriate of the government to interfere in our private lives and in our private homes. And I am tired of ordinary, law-abiding citizens being made to feel like criminals simply because they resent the government politicizing the virus and do not wish to go along with their measures. To be clear, I do not believe the state our country is presently in is due to COVID, but rest the responsibility of our predicament squarely on the shoulders of our government. Brackets, I also hold the mainstream media responsible for creating and nurturing an environment of panic and fear. Close brackets. For a virus with a 99 plus percent recovery rate, I do not believe any of these tyrannical measures have been justified. And as I said earlier, I have not been impressed with the lack of debate in Parliament regarding all the rules 
and edicts that have been mandated to us. This is supposed to be a democratic nation. Our MPs, MSPs, are supposed to represent the concerns of their constituents. In closing, I personally do not support the enforcing of another lockdown or any further or continuing of restrictions. I do, however, encourage those who feel they are vulnerable or at risk to take measures to protect themselves. While everyone retain our freedom to make our own choices to go to work, visit friends, family, and take responsibility for our lives. It would mean a great deal to me as a voter if you would ensure that in Parliament, my perspective is heard and counted, not ridiculed or dismissed. Many thanks. Sincerely, Mr. Leroy Brown. Brackets. Patiently waiting for things to get back to normal, not the so-called new normal being forced upon us and not at our request. Thank you for listening. Once again, if you if this resonates with you and uh, you're like-minded and you're like, hallelujah, that's fantastic. I can relate to that. Please let me know. I do always appreciate encouraging comments and likes. And again, if you completely disagree, if this pushes your buttons, that's fine. My buttons have been have been pushed for months and months and months. So again, this is my opinion, my perspective, which I do not believe is being heard or counted. So I'm not interested in um, being dumped on with even more of the same of what I've been hearing and what's been forced on us for months and months and months. Okay. Thank you for the time you spent listening. God bless you. Cheers.